Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Welcome to Draft Central here. We are, of course, oh boy, we are, of course, day number two of the draft. I'm wide awake, I've got my coffee, and so on. And we have an interesting clip here. A lot of people are, uh, you know, analyzing and trying to figure out what happened last night. The draft did the Cowboys panic and end up grabbing a guy that, uh, you know, some people thought maybe should be a third rounder or a project, you know, the most penalized player in college football and so on. But Jerry Jones actually has an answer to that. And we have to thank. Da da dun, da da dun. Damn, Gina. Damn, Gina, for updating me this morning. Let's go to the clip of what Jerry Jones said to basically prove to you guys that he had Tyler Smith as their number one offensive lineman. Uh, Let let me put it like this. We have both of them, was printed three days ago, below him. Both of those players are below him. Can you see that? Look at Steven Jones. I'm not going to show that. Are you serious? There's, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. No, we really did have them rated below it. No, we really did. Both of them. I'm answering your question. Well, (laughs) hey, man, let me just say this. Well, the the other the other part is I'm looking. The good news is most of those players are gone. I'm trying to see who's on here. (laughs) Most of them are gone. That's the good news. But uh, if they're uh, if you take out the quarterbacks, it won't be anybody on here. (laughs) Uh, Let me put it like this. Let's listen to that one more time. Was printed three days ago below him. Both of those players are below it. Can you see that? Don't show them that. I'm not going to show them that. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. No, we really did have them ready to blow it. No, we really did. Both of them. <laughs> I'm answering your question. Put that shit down. Well, <laughs> hey, man, let me just say this. Here's the interest part. I don't see it. I'm trying to see who's on here. I'm trying to see who's on here. There wouldn't be, but uh, if, they're, uh, if you take out the quarterbacks, there won't be anybody on here. If you take out the quarterbacks, there won't be anybody on here. What does that mean? I think that's a part of leadership is to have some of the guys that have gone before that uh, have been disappointed uh, to share it with everybody involved. For me, it's a reminder. I, too, have been here 23 years. And uh, it is a reminder. I've been here when it was glory hole days, and I've been here when it wasn't. And so having said that, uh, uh, I want me some glory hole. So I have that perspective. We all have that perspective now, Jerry. Okay, so that's where we are with that. The Cowboys swear that he was their highest-graded offensive lineman. The guys that they missed on that were picked before him, they weren't the ones. This was the draft target. Now, I have to at least say the thing about the Cowboys and drafting guys in the first round um, as far as offensive line, they haven't missed. I mean, Tyron Smith, Zach Martin, Travis Frederick. You know, this is where... This is not the uh, – I'm going to actually say this is a substance pick, okay? This is not the jersey seller. This is not the sizzle and the fans in the sands and the ones that you get excited about. But these are the kind of picks that actually make a team. The Cowboys offensive line, the Great Wall of Dallas, if you want to call them that, the greatest offensive line in football, as some people have been trying to say for the last couple of years, has not been been that for a long time it has not been that and this may be the rebuilding of that offensive line um tyler smith um i believe is going to be the replacement for tyron smith so we're we're just going to get tongue-tied smith and smith uh, you know the law firm of smith and smith um we'll see there's still here's the good news 
there's still a lot of really good players that are out there. This is the draft that, that you use to build your core. This is not going to be the big sizzle type, the, the skill payers. And it always pisses me off that they say skilled players. I'm going to tell you, when you got a guy who's about 280 pounds that can move that is fast, that's running a 4 seven forty. there's a lot of skill in stopping that guy and not getting your quarterback killed. But this is the kind of draft that in the second and third and fourth rounds that you can probably end up getting some really good field guys. And the fact that the Cowboys didn't, you know, take this number one pick and reach for, you know, the sizzle type pick. I'm actually happy about. And with the Cowboys, until they prove me wrong, they've been pretty good for the most part at picking offensive linemen. I mean, they did find Terrence Steele as an undrafted rookie free agent who is now our starting right tackle and a guy you look and say, yeah, he's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and trust the process on this one and see how it goes. Um, you really can't judge a draft until two or three years down the road when you see, are they getting that big contract? And since the Cowboys have drafted more all pros than any other team over the course of the last, you know, 10 years, um, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. And at least I'm happy that we did not trade up for a wide receiver because I did not want to have to pull the Rashid. And, and by the way, you Giants fans, I'm disappointed in y'all. I, I feel cheated. I feel cheated because Rashid was not here. I feel cheated because Bad Dog ended up, you know, turning off the volume at the, you know, so that way they could do a live reaction. And I mean, get out of here with that stuff, man. Give me that. Give me the juice. And since I am, hey, if you're going to dish it out, you got to be able to take it too. I'm going to put out my meltdown when we lost Jordan Davis. Be sure to tune in tonight. The uh, live stream will be kicking as always. It will be the call-in show, so you can be part of the studio audience. Give us your take, your thoughts, and your reactions to everything that happens in this draft. Uh, we had a ball last night. We ended up, uh, Ava Hagood ended up winning the um, Joe Barty signed by Michael Irvin, but we have a print that's also signed by Michael Irvin, as well as some other gifts we'll be giving away uh, for each pick that the Cowboys make. So I hope you guys tune in tonight. We will see you then. It's not penalty. You didn't see it went they... all the way down to zero. They didn't call nothing. Now they're going for it again. It should be five yard penalty. Wow. What are they doing with this shit? Yeah, 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 Philly. <laughs> Philly. Ain't no Philly. Way. Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia cream cheese. That's what I'm about to call them. For well, the man. Philadelphia run. cream cheese. Fucking bullshit. Fucking fucking red. Fucking bullshit. It was a fucking stop the first time. Second time. Philadelphia cream cheese. And you didn't call the late game. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 oh my god, Bill. I fire his ass. <laughs> oh my god. Ain't no fucking way. Oh wow. I got hot sauce no in way. my eye. <laughs> they might as well just at this point they might as well just kick the field goal and just oh end my the god. game. Let it run down, kick the field goal and win the Stop game. Bullying.